Hello YouTube, this is Keith Kevin Ken. How you doing? How you doing? I hope you're doing well. Ah Finally Friday. Finally Friday. It's Friday, June 22nd, 2018. I know most people will be watching this in the future sometime, but when I do a pocket dump deconstruction, and that's what this is today on this Friday, I always give a date. So you guys can know when I carried it. Ah, you know, a, a work week for most of us is five days. I know some of you work all different. I, I talked to uh, someone who uh, watches these and also uh, bought a knife or two. Was talking about, you know, he had like 16 on for four days and then three days off and that kind of thing. So I know it's a lot of different mix and matches. Some of you just work, 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 work. By the way, I used to work, 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 work. It was office stuff. It was what I love to do and all that. Slow it down. Separate work <laughs> from pleasure. That's from an old guy to you guys, all right? Do it as early as you can because uh, it's work. Unless it's your job, then you're working for you. Um, so let's talk about the pocket dump deconstruction. This is what I carry. Everyone always says, oh, it's a lot of knives. Yeah, I, I, I actually used to carry three knives. Now I only carry two. You see three because one of the knives is what I call the knife that got away. You know, when you're going through your knives and stuff, I do the same thing with um, cigars. I have several watches. I don't have a million watches. Uh, you know, I go, maybe this one, maybe that one. And that's what we do with knives. So I figured I'd talk about that. Of course, uh, start with a watch. Excuse me. When it's a meeting day at work, I love an Apple watch. I have two Apple watches. Um, and that's because I can sneak when, you know, three-fourths of all meetings are kind of boring. <laughs> so I can look at my risk and keep track of what's really going on with emails and stuff. Sometimes I keep track of you guys with the likes and stuff. So, so <laughs> when I'm supposed to be paying attention to a meeting. Uh, this is, I call it a hewer. People will tell me it's how or whatever. It's H-E-U-E-R. No matter what you guys call it, I'm going to call it a hewer because I've been doing it forever. A lot of times when you look at my watches and wallets, uh, I've had these literally for over 20 years. Uh, my flask over 20, 25 years. I used to be a consultant flying all around the country and made a bunch of money. And you know, what you... You know, to impress old clients and new clients, you had some stuff. So I kept things for a very long time, and I like age with my stuff. But this is Hewer, um, and it's called the Monaco, and I really love the square size of it. Just real nice uh, and heavy. Just a real nice watch. And it's Friday, right? So it's supposed to be kind of cash office Friday. There is nothing casual in Office Friday about this cigar. Oh, man. It smells so good. This is a Romeo and Julieta, but, man, this is a special one. I can't pronounce that. You know, it's funny. When I'm smoking cigars, when I'm buying cigars, and you don't naturally do stuff in front of a camera, but for you guys, I do. But this is a very expensive <laughs> cigar. I buy these like four at a time, and then I only smoke them usually at special occasions, but when a five-day work week feels like a 10-day week, and it's a Friday, mm, this is a special occasion for me. Someone commented, hey, why don't you do a cigar um, part of the show where you just talk cigars? Uh, right now, that's one reason I wanted to do the pocket dump deconstruction to bring a lot of the things I like into one video. But that's part of my <laughs> retirement plan. Here's my other Shown Design pen. I'm in love with these. I have to buy some more of these. 
like I said, now he has a clip. This is titanium, but it has a DLC coating. You guys with knives know about that. When you have the black blade knives. Just has a great screw. That's how you uh, deal with the refill. You just screw the bottom off. It has that heft that I love. Man, I, I really fell in love with these. But what I was saying is, you know, I grew... I was born in 1959, and uh, just growing up, I never expected Social Security to still be there. So my retirement, in my mind, I always thought I'd be working through my retirement years, but retirement was working on stuff that you really like and enjoy. This is my wallet. I was a big coach fan when I was consulting, so I still have a lot of coach wallets and cases and all of that. I think now Coach does mostly women's <laughs> wear, right? <laughs> but <laughs> I had a lot of leather stuff from Coach that I love. Um, and here's my coin. I love this. Uh, I always carry a one ounce coin. These are pretty rare. This is my um, 1995 unicorn coin. There were five different patterns of these Chinese coins. I have all four of them. You'll see them as we go through this. Um, they also have one ounce and half ounce as well, but I really like that. That's just my good luck piece. You know, someone, whenever you say stuff like that, they always have something to say like, well, you said you had a bad day. I guess you didn't have good luck. Well, this happened on that day. Did you have your coin in your pocket? <laughs> I love, as I get older, I laugh at people <laughs> when they do that. And I say, yeah, I had my coin in the pocket. Well, I guess it wasn't good luck. I'm like, who knows? Three more things could have happened if I didn't have it in my pocket. It's not that I'm superstitious. It really just reminds me of my grandfather when he used to always carry his one silver dollars when we, before 1964, when we stopped having silver coinage. So, oh, today... It's the single malt scotch. It's Macallan. I went expensive. Usually I don't tell you what kind of booze because it's not like it's a sponsorship or anything. But I want, if you're going to smoke a good cigar, you need something good to drink it with. By the way, that's a lie. <laughs> I can have a cheap cup of coffee and a great cigar and enjoy it to death. <laughs> so, but I want it to be <laughs> a little uppity right there. <laughs> Good cigar is great. Good booze is great. Depending on your mood, bad news is great. <laughs> I mean, bad booze. Um, this is, you guys all know about the field guides, and I have those. I love a nice pad. I found these, a lot more colors and variety on Amazon. They're called Word. It's called Word. I'm not pitching it or anything, but I really like this notepad. It's exactly like the field guides. Uh, which I like, I love in fact, and I have a bunch of them, but a lot more variety colors. Man, I just love my Cricut. I love my carrying my Cricut yesterday. You'd be surprised what a small knife on a keychain, what kind of conversations that starts. This doesn't scare anyone, but it does everything. I think yesterday I had the blue decision handle. Uh, I talked a little bit about the Nisijin handle and the pattern was a, a special kimono from Japan. These are the weave and it's under like this smooth, I don't think it's plexiglass. Um, I don't know what it's called. It's not plexiglass, obvious, but it's smooth. You don't feel the ridges. Um, it, it's, it's these glass fibers as small as the human hair that's weaved into this pattern. It's just really nice. Of course, this is real smooth. That's the familiar reverse S. When, uh, when Spydeco created years ago, and I have an original one, you should check it out on the knife of the day, Civilian, which was basically a, you know, it was something to hurt someone with. 
um, and it's a big knife, big tactical knife with a reverse S and serrated where you can just rip um, up folks. And then they came with a real small uh, piece. They called it a cricket with that reverse S. The difference is they added that belly, you know, that big belly on the reverse S. So you can cut this, open up everything you can do. You know, open up a box, cut, whatever, with the belly. But it still has that real nice tip. You know, push comes a shove. You can get away from somebody <laughs> with it. But I like the cricket. It's so classy. As I said before, it makes a great, you know, bill holder. Dollar bill holder. But just a real nice knife um, for a keychain or just to drop in your pocket. A gift to drop in a purse or a pocket. I know a lot of people take off the clip and drop it in the little pocket in your jeans. That pocket has been changed a lot. You know, it used to be called, my grandfather used to call it a watch pocket <laughs> because, you know, they had the pocket watches and stuff. I grew up, we called it a change, the little change pocket. Now, all I do is talk about it as a small knife pocket. <laughs> but that's a nice I use these as keychain knives because I only have a silver hoop with three and uh, with uh, three keys so I love to put a different knife on it I went back to back decision crickets on them uh, but a lot of times you'll see a lot of great small knives I have a huge collection of small knives you're not going to see this knife. I don't know, are you? I haven't picked out the knives for the knife sale tomorrow. There will be a knife sale tomorrow. It will include Chris Reeve knives and a lot of Spydecos as well. So it's not just for for expensive knives. But you'll get a chance to get good deals on um, some Chris Reeve knives. This is a Blade HQ exclusive. And the Blade HQ exclusive... It's carbon fiber inlay. Could only get it from Blade HK, uh, Blade HQ. They sell out super quick on these. I, I, <laughs> I've got every type of them: the 25, the 21, the small 21, several small 21s, and the small and cozy. This is the Sabenza 25. Of course, you know they stopped distributing 25s the large and cozy replaced the 25 the Sabenza 25 I have a bunch of 25s and I just love it the Nkosi is an improvement there's a lot of slight improvements but man how can you improve a classic hey this was an improvement on the Sabenza 21 on the 21st anniversary Chris Reeve introduced the Sabenza 21 on the 25th he in he introduced the 25 Never had a small 25. That's why I try to collect and get as many small Nkosis as I can because I never had small 25s. And an Nkosi is pretty much a small 25. 3.6 inch blade. By the way, the Cricut's blade is 1.9 inches and it only weighs 1.7 ounces, the Cricut. This is 3.6 inches, total 8.4 inches, 5 ounces. S35 VN steel. That's VG10 steel on the Cricut. Of course, polished titanium, like all of the inlays except for the Micarta for Chris Reeve. And space age material is the the carbon fiber as the inlay. Two on the on the show side, one on the lock side, and of course the regular pattern, polished tie. And then that rough lock. If someone hands you a, a knife like this as a Chris Reeve, and they say, hey man, this is an Nkosi, just turn it over. <laughs> There's a lot of different Nkosis, you know, the washers are different and a lot of other things. But the sight, the quick change, if it turns over and the clip is straight, then you know it's a 25. If, it's, if the clip is off, of the lock bar, the Chris Reeve Interco lock bar, then you know it's an Nkosi. Just a real solid knife. 
This is the carry. Yeah, I said it's a casual Friday, but as you can see, <laughs> this is not a casual carry. It's a fun carry. It's one of those, it's fancy, but not too fancy for the work day. You know what I'm saying? And I'm kind of celebrating the end to a tough week. This is what I really started <laughs> to carry. I pulled this out yesterday saying I'm going to carry it. If you haven't seen my top five Chris Reeve knives, or I'm sorry, cross, <laughs> I'm sorry guys, top five Spyderco knives which surprised some people because there were no paramilitary twos on it. This was, though, this was the Switz buoy. Um, I like it because I, I, I always liked uh, the Techno. This was made by the same person who made the Techno, and I just think it's a big Techno. It's also a buoy, which gives it a good size, 3.4 inches um, 3.2 for the blade it weighs seven uh, it weighs 4.2 ounces CTS XHP steel just like the techno and man it's a buoy and Spydeco did a great job some of the buoys that they've done they do that extension for the hole so you got that loop here they cut down on the full tie um, handle so that you can reach it, and it has a low profile. It rides perfect in your pockets. And here's a great thing. They have the wire clip. Oh, man, I love it. Just the treatment hides all the snails. There's a little G10 um, backspacer with some grip. This is a perfect knife. It just really is. Has the jimping. Ah, oh, it feels great in the hand. Left hand, right hand, tip up. Man, I love this knife. It's one of my favorites. It really is. It's the Spydeco Slish buoy, but you know what? I opted for the Chris Reeve knife. Remember I said Chris Reeve. It has a Chris Reeve integral frame lock. It feels like something Chris Reeve would have done. You know, just solid, well built. It's classy in its simplicity, I tell you. But for another day, another carry, I decided to go a little bit fancier. There you have it. That's the pocket dump deconstruction. I hope you guys are enjoying this. I'm enjoying bringing it back. I did it for a year and a half and I rested it with the knife of the day. Don't forget though, new Spyticles will be on this channel. We're continuing with the knife of the day. But now, Monday through Friday, we'll have pocket dump deconstructions. On the weekend, it's the summer of trimming. We're trimming Kevin's, Keith Kevin Kins, I'm Kevin. We're trimming my knife collection. Over 400, like 450 knives, and I'm trimming them. So we'll have a sale tomorrow. Don't forget to subscribe. I'm only selling my knives through this channel. Later, because there's always knives left over. Later, I'm preparing an eBay channel. Of course, the prices will go up. With the Chris Reeves, I'm thinking about another third party who has access to people who like to spend money on knives. They take some money out of it, and they deserve it for the work, both of them, eBay and whatever. So the prices will go up. I'm giving you guys a chance. First crack at these knives. And that all happens tomorrow. But you should subscribe. and turn. You don't have to be subscribed to buy. But turn on your notifications. Because obviously the knives are first come first serve. You guys have a perfect day. Man, I know. I know. I'll make them smaller. I just enjoy talking to you guys. <laughs> I know it's 20 minutes. But for me it's 20 minutes of catharsis around stuff that men put and women uh, put on their bodies <laughs> to make them feel good and collect. So thank you guys for your time. I really appreciate it. You have a perfect day. And hey, for you guys, new ones that have just been watching the nice of the day, that's why I always end with keep those pockets full. <laughs> yeah. Goodbye.